All right, so 8.4 is adding and subtracting radical expressions. So we're just taking what we did before and taking it one step further. So the first section is actually really simple. Adding and subtracting, as long as they have the same index and the same radicand, you just combined the coefficients and then that's your answer. So for example, in number one, two is the radicand in both cases. My index is also two in both cases, so just add four plus three. So what's four plus three? Seven. seven. So seven, exactly, seven root two. Number two is the same thing, now we're just subtracting. So I have the same radicand, the same index. So this answer is going to be what? Perfect, negative three. So this big warning is extremely important. Only radical expressions with the same index and the same radicand can be combined. If they are not the same index and radicand, you're going to have to do something else to it before you're able to simplify it. <laughs> so in number three, we do not have the same radicand. So I need to simplify the square root of 12 to see if I can get it to look like the square root of three. So over here, I'm going to write my factor tree. So this is why we did what we did in 8.3. How can I split up 12? Okay, 4 and 3. And then I can split up 4 as 2 and 2. Good. My index is 2, so I'm looking for groups of 2. So I'm going to simplify that as 2 square root of 3 because my three is left over. Then we have plus the square root of three. Now we have the same radicand, they both have threes, and we both have two as an index. So I can combine them, two plus the square root, two root three plus the square root of three. If there's no number out in front of here, what's that number? One. So I'm putting a one out in front. So what's two plus one? Three. So I get the answer of three root three. So your first step is to simplify to see if you're going to get the same radical. And then from there, you can actually add them or subtract them depending upon what it's asking you to do. My numbers are a little bit different than normal, so I'm actually going down one. Number four is the same as number three. I just have two numbers that I'm going to have to try and simplify. So I'm making two factor trees, one for 24 and one for 54. So 24. I can split that up into what? What two numbers multiply to give you 24? Okay, that's fine. So six and four. Then I can split four up into two and two. And six, if you really want to, we can split up into three and two. Index is two, so I'm looking for groups of two. So I see two twos, but that's it. So I'm going to end up having to leave the three times two inside the radical. Yes. This is a coefficient, the index is two. So over here we have my two on the outside, but I still have this three right here. So three times two Then we still have three times two left over underneath the radical Which is six So this two came from over here the three came from right here and then three times two is how I got the radical same thing for 54. How do you want to split up 54? Okay, 9 and 6. And 9 I can split up into, yep, 3 times 3. 6 would be 2 times 3. Index is still 2, so I'm looking for groups of 2. 
So I will have plus the three goes on the outside. And then write six because two times three is six. That's gonna be left over on the inside. Step, I actually just want to simplify that. So three times two on the outside here is, what's three times two? Six. Root six plus three root six. Have the same index? Yes. Good. Do they have the same radicand? Yes. yes. So that means I can add them. What six plus three? Nine. nine. So we have nine square root of six, and that's my final. So you have to take what we learned in eight point three by reducing them, simplifying them as far as you can, and then you can take it a step further and actually add them together. So let's get a variable involved in the five. Thank you. All right, so in number five, I'm reducing 20 and I'm reducing 45. So over here, I'm gonna make my factor true. 20 can be split up into what two numbers? 10 and two, good. Then 10 can be split up into? Good, five and two. Again, my index is two, so I'm looking for my pairs, which are right here. So I'm looking for twos. So I'll have two. This two comes out. I have a five left over underneath the radical. So radical five. And that X stays there too, because I can't reduce that. There's only one X under there. So now I'm looking for my factors of good, nine and five. Good, nine is three times three. Good, so this is my pair. So I have minus, this three comes on the outside. So does the X. So I have two times two. So we have four root five x minus three root five x. Same radicand. So that means I can actually subtract them. What's four minus three? So that's just one square root of five x, or you could just write it as the square root of five x. You don't really need the one there, but I put it there just so that you realize where it comes from. Okay, number six is a really tricky one. Can I reduce the square root of three? No. Can I reduce the square root of five? Maybe. It's prime, right? So are they, are they the same radicand? No, but they have the same index, but if I don't have both, it's not gonna work. So this one actually cannot be simplified. And before flipping over to the next page, I do want to make sure that you highlight this warning. So do not confuse the product rule with combining like terms. So if you have these two things here, you can't just add four plus nine and call it a day. It's not gonna work. Because if you do this one, four plus nine is the square root of 13. But that doesn't equal this side, because what's the square root of four? Two. What's the square root of nine? Three. So this would be saying, square root of 13 equals five, and that's not the case. So you have to be really careful that when you see this a four plus the square root of nine, you're not just adding four plus nine. It's not gonna work. You actually have to take the radical of each one in order to get the answer. And if they can't be reduced, you're going to actually have to try and reduce them to get the same index and radical, okay? So then we'll move on to the next page. Wait a minute.